so guys, nine years in, strike out cancer. This is your third, your fourth year. What do you think? What does it mean to you guys Like when this time of year comes about? For me, I really think that strike out cancer represents so much more than what we are and it's such a great opportunity for us to really help the community and help all the kids that are dealing with this. And um, I think that, you know, having a background story, like especially hearing about Tatum and everything that you guys went through as a family and being able to support other families that are going through this is something that is so much more than what we are. Like just softball players, we can help in so many other ways. So it gives us an opportunity to really give back to the community and give back to those families that really need it. I definitely think about um, alumni support, community. It's so cool seeing all the other sports come to our event and support us. and have a good time and it's really cool seeing all the alumni come back because they know how special it is. It is pretty cool how it's kind of become the unofficial alumni weekend. I mean, I just completely agree with what they said. It's just something that's so much bigger than ourselves and we have so much fun throughout the entire weekend. Like it's a process and we all enjoy it so much. It's a lot of work. Yeah, but it's like we have so much fun doing it and we always make it like a little bit of a competition to really keep <laughs> getting better and better every year. What's your favorite part of the whole weekend? Trivia night, man. Yeah. I quiz myself on trivia. I'm like, oh, I love trivia. I think so I think it's some good rounds this yeah, year. I'm, I'm excited. I think that that's the most fun. It's kind of changed our entire program a little bit, hasn't it? I think it keeps us all like much closer. I think so. It's a, it's that common bond that kind of keeps everybody connected because. At the end of the day, like everybody is affected in some way. It's not that we celebrate it, but I think we get it on a different level um, because we've hit it personally. Um, but we've also see all the families that come out to the game. I think I, I love that. I love the fact that all those families and their kids come out. I don't know about you guys, but most of them don't even look sick when they come out. And you know that they're fighting for their lives. and. They just run around the bases and loving that day and I, that's one of my favorite parts. That's one of the most special parts for sure is just seeing the kids. Cause you see like this is exactly where everyone's money that we're raising, like this is why. It's for these kids that are out here. We're so honored and so blessed that Notre Dame has given us this opportunity to do this and you know, Notre Dame softball and just it's it's awesome and we can't get this experience anywhere else. Do you guys remember your first the very first time that you like when it hit you, you're like, what is this? Like, were you confused about it? What, what was your thoughts when we first talked to you about it and said like, this is a huge weekend for us. You know, it all started because my daughter was sick and it turned into almost a, we try to make something awesome out of something really bad. And I think at the end of the day, that's all we kind of hope to do is make something really great out of all the crappy things that happen to all these people's lives. So what was it, what did you think like the first time we talked about it with you guys? For me, it was after my brother was diagnosed um, my senior year of high school. And I had found out about it that spring during that time. And um, I was like, wow, this is like a really cool thing because I know what my family has gone through and to see how like we as a program were helping families who have also gone through similar mm -hmm. things. It kind of hit like a special part. And then to be a part of it the following year and to really see everything that goes into it and like what or where our money goes and stuff, it was just, um, it was surreal. And I had my brother there and I had my family there for the first year. So it was like very emotional for me, but it was like amazing to see how much of an impact we can make. I just remember the upperclassmen always saying how it was their favorite weekend of the year and I think that just goes to show how our program did take something, you know, sad and bad and put like excitement to something like that. And I think that's really important and special to our program. It's fun because the very first year we did strike out cancer, it was just the games. We just had an auction and the games and we try to bring people out and just celebrate the orange, the uh, awareness color for leukemia. But now with the addition of the huge trivia night, which has really kind of taken over the whole weekend, I always say, I don't know how they handle it, but how do you guys handle the fact that you're working your tails off for hours that weekend and you're still performing and playing a three game series against one of our biggest competitors in the ACC? I think the main thing is that we don't see it as like a job or anything. We have fun while doing it, we're excited. So we don't really see it as like, oh, this is really tedious work or anything like that. We really just have fun doing it and we make it, I mean, it means so much more than what we even know. So it's kind of like playing the game is like, we're doing our jobs on the field, but everything off the field is what we want to do. We're not being forced to do anything. We want to do that. We want to be a part of that night and do everything and anything we can to raise money for the cause. You know, we're young, like we're still young. We got, we got a lot of energy. I know our Thank team, goodness. we're very energetic. So I know that this isn't even like, this doesn't even phase us and it just kind of like, you feed off the energy of Trivia Night. So I think like 
everything with it. You just feed off everyone's energy and you're just going and you just keep going. And I think that even if you're a freshman, you know, everyone tells you like, it's gonna be a long night. You just gotta keep yep. going, wear good shoes. Okay, favorite moment of trivia night of all time because we've had some funny things happen. I think last year when we all had to do the dances in front of the entire oh, group, yeah. that was something. That was like really funny, just to see everyone do whatever random dance. Even you guys did a dance. Yes. Did you guys do like the chicken dance yes, or something? Yeah, we did. So coach, I know we make a lot of money every year. What exactly does it go to? Well, we've raised over, um, let's think about this, about $300,000 for the kids. We've purchased a therapy dog. Um, for a little boy, yep. We have um, started an art studio for all the kids who are fighting cancer. So now we actually, there's, they have a little art area and the art teacher that comes in that we've paid for. So coach, out of all nine years, what is your favorite moment from Strike Out Cancer? A girl from California, um, she was a softball player. She, um, every time she struck out a kid, I think she was 11 years old at the time. She was a pitcher. Every time she struck out a kid, her dad would give her $10 and she raised over $1,000 um, in her summer and fall season, and she donated that money to Strike Out Cancer, and she came to our event. So I brought her up on stage, and I told her story, and then she took the microphone, and she's like, and I expect all of you to do the same. And it was like the whole crowd went totally nuts. It was, it was such a powerful moment to see an 11-year-old kid give $1,000 and all the people that were having a good time. It, it was huge.